All right, winner semis starting off. Uh, actually, this is the second half. This is Tom versus Bashi. Correct. We have uh, Bashi's dark pit, and we have Tom Roy, both starting on PS2. Yeah, pretty neutral start. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't. Yeah, no one's gonna like super heavy benefit from a stage like this, uh, like in the matchup specifically. So. Just gotta see how it plays. Right now, you know, Bashi with a with a small percent lead. Mm. Alright, Tom with an edge. In guard. general. Yeah. Yeah, in general, as Pit, you don't want to jump too much because Roy can kind of deal with that. Like he has quick quick fare, quick fare. So what you're gonna be expecting a lot is a ton of dashbacks. And if Bashi is jumping. He's not just jumping once. He's just gonna use all his jumps. Mm -hmm. um, he does not want to be put in a state of disadvantage like that. Yeah. Plus, you know, if you have the jumps, definitely use them. Uh, it's something that can sometimes uh, catch your opponents off guard, just because like it's not the norm. It's like, ah, oh, yes, I'm gonna punch their landing. They're still there. But regardless, Tom gonna get that uh, dash in uh, forward tilt and just kind of trap the landing or just send him off the side. So even though Bashi was starting off with a uh, with a lead, it was Tom to finish off the first stop. You know, Roy's a pretty explosive character. Yeah, I, I think the one thing that's really hurting Bashi right now is lack of like orbitars. You really got to use that in this matchup because you really want to avoid those those stray hits. Mm. It's really dangerous. That was brilliant. Low profiling and then just getting the down smash, that was smart. Oh man, the little poke just read the perfect time when he disconnected from the ledge. Nothing too much, but just kind of extends it. Oh. Hasn't relinquished stage control. Perfect. I love this. Very nice. That was an incredible edge guard. Just he didn't uh, he just took care of every option that Bash tried to go for. Okay, so he definitely played a brilliant thing. Yeah, so now we have a, fair, a full stock lead. This is a uh, really, really, really powerful position to be in. Uh, Bashi really has his work cut out for him. He's going to have to, you know, uh, reduce the ratio of uh, hits taken versus hits given because, you know, he's got an uphill battle to climb here. See how this edge guard goes? Oh, if he was able to punish that whiff, he was able would have been able to maintain uh, stage control and just keep the edge guard going. But uh, Tom able to reverse situation has been staying center. I like that. Ooh. There you go. Yeah, just like That's what really you said, the arbiters. It really is just like an aerial carry. It's so brilliant. And just the fact that it reflects as well. Against Zoners, it's so good. So, you uh, know what? That's actually one advantage Pit has on the platform. So if he gets the drag down air, he can get the S-Match. It's a really good way of killing. Protection. Okay. Mm, you know, he could, he could have uh, could have approached stage a little bit better. I don't think that air dodge was good at all. I think he needs to do that. This is a really bad position for Bash. He already had 160 knocking on Death's, Death's door with the stock. And while Tom has an, uh, an entire one you know, in the reserves and Ooh. coming right out of said reserves. But, yeah. Like, what are you going to do when you're that when you're that down? It's really hard. Yeah, he, he knew that Bash was just going to dash away. So Tom just went straight for that F-tilt and... He was just like, just did why you, why you, get over here, how dare you disrespect me like that. Literally coming at his neck. Slice him. And right there too, oh, he got two kills off of that tilt. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's really good. Yeah, it's a really strong move. I think he does like a jeer here. Yeah. Jab. Yeah. Bashi just needs to commit more to the arrows. I don't. I see him trying to constantly go in. No need to do that. If you see Tom just dash dancing in place, just 
put out an arrow and then evaluate his neutral game and then go in from the nair when you feel it's safe to. Alright, so Bash's counter pick is going to be Yoshi's. Um, can you shed some light on this? Because like I know that the immediate change is like you have a normal ceiling but with the high platform very close to the top and like normal walls and the pillar. But I don't know like what is what is Pit like looking for in this stage? Um, so one thing that Pit Dark Pit is looking for is a lot of safety at ledge. Because of those little slants, it can kind of mess up the ledge trapping for Roy. Okay. Um, that's really important because as soon as Pit Dark Pit gets ledge trapped, that can be a little bit annoying just because their airspeed isn't the greatest. Mm -hmm. Um, but also, um, the walls are really good as well. Like for example, if Roy or any other character with Spike tries to edge guard, it can DI in towards the wall and tech. So that's like another thing that he's got on his hands. Plus you can ride the wall for recoveries. That just makes it ten times easier to recover. I guess when you're riding the wall, if they try to hit you, you're you're pretty much set up for a tech situation as well. Ah! Absolutely. Oof. With the ledge tromp there. That hurts. <laughs> That was good, Dion, the upper. Alright, down throw, and... No way. Oh, okay. You know, originally I was, I was gonna give him a little flack for not going for the drag down air on the platform, but instead he went for that tech chase grab, and that worked, it worked beautifully, I would say. Alright. Yeah, he's just... The, the, the problem is Roy's arrows come out so fast, so if you're trying to commit to like a, a pit fair or a bear, it's like, you're, you're gonna get beat out, so you might as well just let him kind of approach, and then if he does a bad aerial on shield, then go for the shield grab. Just committing a little bit too much. Alright, nice out of shield in there, gonna get some damage. Yes. Oh wow, that was brilliant. I like that he went for that drag down there and drew grab. Letting him a lot of damage. Yeah, see, that that's good. Right there, he was just dashing back and he was fine. Ooh, good. Oh, wow. Pushing Ooh. him just far enough where he couldn't uh, come back. Now, this isn't too much right now. You know, Bashi's at 114, but, you know. The, getting the landing the wind condition can be pretty difficult sometimes. So if, as long as he's able to take this slow or just you know stay out of dodge for the moves that'll get him killed, uh, he, he could put on some pretty meaningful damage before losing the stock. It's just you know dealing yep. with Roy is very scary. And, and I like how Bashi is over committing with these edge guards. Like he knows that Tom can just up the pass ledge and kind of just get back to neutral for free. So he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna let you put out whatever you want. I'm just gonna stick to ledge trap and keep it safe. That's exactly what we need to do. Alright. Good side so mix up for covering. Mm, excellent the dash. Okay. okay. Mm, I don't like that forward throw. Try to back over there. That way you put him in a state of disadvantage and get damage. Well, all right. Wow, what is like you know when you do five jumps and still empty land, and you're just like get over here. <laughs> all right, good. I like that he's mixing up his ledge options a little bit, oh. not committing too much to jumps. This is That's, a really uh, important F game. Totally if 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 Tom wins this, then he has won the the best of three inside the best of five. Meaning that if he does manage to get taken to game five, he's gonna have counter big advantage, and he does just that. Oh! All right, Tom with a 2-0 lead now. <laughs> that wave line was so unnecessary. <laughs> he needs to do that. All right, that was good. I've seen much good. I think he did a good job of doing falling aerials. Yeah. Like every time he was on a platform, he did like falling up air. Mm -hmm. and he did falling bear. So that way, even if it lands on shield, it's safe. And it's intimidating because now you can 
and just throw out a side B afterwards and suddenly that's mm -hmm. shield pressure. Okay, but Bashi is in a really tough situation. If he wants to win this set, he's going to have to win three games in a row. Alright, let's see where we're going to next. Trying out his last counter pick Three, attempt, and it two, is going to be Battlefield. One, uh, I forget what what stage is this. This is this is the Fire Emblem stage, or uh, pretty sure this is the is, is this the Dark Pit stage? I think this is the Dark Pit stage. Oh, this is a this is a this is a pit stage. I'm pretty sure. All right. Kind of looks like the place where you fight that dragon in Odyssey. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. all right, going to Battlefield. Uh, I mean, you know, it's a different twist on Yoshi's. Maybe now the like the, the lower, uh, the lower low platforms. Uh, you know, maybe that. I don't know. What is he try? <laughs> what is he trying differently? I guess. Um, honestly, I, I can't really tell. I mean, it's one of those characters where as long as there's a platform, it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I, on certain in certain scenarios, you want to avoid FD, obviously, because that's no platforms. But aside from that, he doesn't really have that, like, distinctive stage where it's like, oh, this, he's, like, godlike on the stage. He's, All right. Like, brilliant. He doesn't really have that. All right, well, uh, the, at least the stage bit going to save him from that up B. But not that falling fair. Yeah, he's... Yeah, just Tom maximizing damage with those, like, roar bears. He's just getting all the strings he needs. Uh, recovery, and yeah. He intimidated him with that air over there, and then we committed to the up E and went on stage. Went straight for that down smash. Uh, weirdly enough, despite most of the aerials getting the sweet spot at the tip, for some reason with down smash, the sweet spot is actually at the base. Um, don't know why, but that's how the move is. Yeah, just taking advantage of that invincibility. It's just, I don't know, it's easy. They're, they're both instilling fear into each other. Oh my god. <laughs> right through that. Ah! Okay. Near to sit him on stage. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that his, he's dashing away. Like, he's dashing away on the platform, doing these falling aerials, maintain safety. That's what you want to do. I roll. Uh, roll in the time. If he didn't shield there, that actually would have liked him too. You got Does he have any kill setups at this percentage? Uh, all you can really do is hope for like a down smash or something. Or yeah. a bear. Yeah, it's a tough situation because Tom is still getting some pretty meaningful damage. If he's if he ends up losing the stock, he's going to be at a very comfortable lead. Uh-oh. Oh, but oh, she's scared. Uh, if, if, if Tom Stop. is conditioned to shield, then he can go for grab. But if he's not committed to shield, then you can go for dash attack. Maybe that might be a way to get a kill. Peace no. out. And Dashing Tom with the two star. And the 3 0. -oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep. There's just really, really much you can do there. Tom just knew when to fall through the platform. <laughs> 